My name is Father Michael Gately, and I would like to tell you about two great loves in my life. Uh, the first one is something called the Spiritual Exercises of St. Ignatius of Loyola. This is a retreat that is so important, that's so powerful, that it's received more than 600 statements of papal approbation. In other words, more than 600 times the popes have given it two thumbs up, saying this is an awesome retreat. I'm paraphrasing. But it's an incredible retreat. It has formed and made so many different saints. The problem with the spiritual exercises retreat, in some ways, is that in order to get the full effect of it, it's a whole 30-day retreat. But who's got 30 days to go on one of these retreats? Most people these days don't have that much time. We'll put that on the shelf for a minute, the spiritual exercise retreat. The second great love, one of the great loves of my life, is the Divine Mercy message and devotion. And that message comes to us, this modern message of divine mercy, through two, through two great saints, two, two great modern saints, St. Faustina Kowalska of Poland and St. Therese of Lisieux, the little flower. Now, if you've ever read the diary of St. Faustina, which is the main way people know about her, or if you've ever read the story of a soul, this, the diary of St. Therese, which is the way many people know about her, you read those books and they're thick, they're big, and they're also diaries. I don't know if you, about you, but if you've ever kept a diary, they're sort of all over the place, right? In the upper corner, the way they're organized is by dates. You're like, okay, this morning I had uh, Cheerios for breakfast or whatever. You know, they're all over the place. There's not a big order to a diary. And that's sometimes the frustration that people have with trying to delve into the, these amazing mercy saints is they're like, holy Toledo, these books are full of all these gems of wisdom about divine mercy. But it's so hard to find them. It's not in an ordered, systematic way. And then they close the book and they're like, where was that passage again? And it's not like a systematic treatment that helps divine mercy you know, really get, get, conc get, get really concrete in our hearts. So what I decided to do is take these two great loves in my life, the message of divine mercy through Therese and Faustina in their diaries, and take the spiritual exercise of divine mercy and put them together into one, here comes the book plug, one book called, uh, what is it called again? Consoling the Heart of Jesus, a do-it-yourself retreat inspired by the spiritual exercises of St. Ignatius. And basically the way the retreat works is it takes Ignatian ordering principles, because St. Ignatius was a master in bringing order and a practicality to the spiritual life. He's like, I want to become a saint, and then I want to help people become saints, and this is how you do it. And he was really good with those principles, those organizing principles. Therese and Faustina were kind of all over the place, but they have all these incredible gems of wisdom and divine mercy. So taking the two together, you've got quite an amazing uh, approach and, 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 and approach and, and delving into the riches and treasures of divine mercy. That's what I tried to do in the book, Consoling the Heart of Jesus. And I also tried to make it easy to use. It doesn't take 30 days of retreat to use the book. You can do the whole book in just one weekend. You set aside a weekend and you can do this whole Ignatian-inspired retreat that will help you delve into the mysteries and wonders and treasures of divine mercy. So check it out. Uh, you can order it from the Marians, which helps us do our works of mercy and feed our seminarians, at 1-800-4-MARIAN. And uh, I hope you'll get it and that you'll be able to treat yourself to making a retreat. Again, you can do it in just a weekend. If you don't have a weekend, you can stretch it out a long time. The way you make the retreat is just by doing it in spiritual reading. My sister's got seven kids and she fits in reading when she did it, when she could, sometimes in the evening. But she got through it and it gave her the experience of the retreat that she wouldn't have been able to have otherwise. So I hope you like the book. I hope you love Divine Mercy and I hope you'll get to experience the spiritual exercises through the book. God bless you.